The Horn of Africa region saw the largest increase in the number of refugees globally in 2012. By the year 2013, there were over 9 million refugees and internally displaced persons in the region. Climate change and environmental degradation, armed conflict and political, economic and food crisis continue to force people to flee, resulting in a growing need for assistance. Countries in the Igad region have and continue to experience common challenges of movement of mixed migrant populations, whether in search of economic opportunities or as a result of forceful migration. Mixed migration flows, which include refugees, asylum seekers, displaced persons and migrants pursuing family reunification, education or employment, put a strain on governments in the region as they struggle to cope with the large number of migrants crossing their borders and moving through their countries. Movement of people and mobility as a result of weather-related uh, phenomena has always been, uh, has always been, um, uh, has been with us uh, the last 40 years. Uh, another factor that has always been with us is the fact that um, over 75 percent or so of the people of this region also uh, their livelihood is based on uh, uh, livestock production and livestock keeping and by the very nature of their livelihood base uh, they are forced also to move from place to place even without uh, a drought situation uh, as soon as uh, there's better fodder and better vegetation cover and better water supplies anywhere then these people move uh, thirdly we have had serious um, conflicts in our region we have uh, various conflicts in different countries like in the in the region that also sometimes uh, pits us against each other within a country that also requires uh, for people to move. So with all these factors uh, combined together, the uh, displacement of people who are now in different camps and different uh, status in different countries in the region is quite high. Contrary to popular belief that more migrants migrate outside the continent, existing data and current research suggests that vast majority move within the region. Unfortunately, African countries, individually or within regional economic communities, have not crafted formal and effective migration management mechanisms to maximize the benefits of migration development. It has also changed the trend of migrations within the region. Uh, in order also to respond to, 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 to this phenomena, uh, the IGAD uh, uh, secretary with its member state has actually uh, come up with a regional policy framework called the IGAD Regional Migration Policy Framework. IGAD member states have also not taken full advantage of the development potential of migration by not mainstreaming it in development planning. This may be due to lack of capacity and expertise on how to do this. With these countries sharing porous borders, migration goes on both regularly and irregularly. One of the reasons this happens is because migration continues to be handled and dealt with by different government agencies and policies that do not speak to or cooperate with each other. There is also little information sharing not only within agencies but it's more lacking at the regional level, which makes border management especially a challenge. The migration program at IGAD goes back to 2006, six years, and that's when um, we entered into an MOU with, uh, with IOM, the International Organization for Migration, to address migration in our region. IGAD also is a regional economic community with a mandate for regional integration. And uh, the heads of state summit um, in uh, 2013 adopted the minimum integration plan, or what we call the MIP, as IGAD's roadmap for, for regional integration. And we cannot talk about regional integration without talking about movement of people, because people only integrate if they can cross borders. Migration issues at IGAD are addressed within the framework of the Regional Migration Policy Framework, RMPF, 
that is derived from the African Union Continental Framework adopted in Banjul in 2006. The regional framework was adopted by the IGAD Council of Ministers in 2012 and has become the primary IGAD policy reference on migration. It's a policy framework, it's not a policy per se, so it, it provides key strategic recommendations on how to deal with different aspects of migration, whether it's matters of border management, irregular uh, movement, migration and climate change. In our region, we have a very unique situation with uh, pastoralism. We host some of the, probably the world's largest population of, uh, of pastoralists. And, and you know, movement of animals is linked to movement of people because the animals don't move alone. So you find that in our policy framework, we also incorporated the aspect of um, our pastoral mobility as it links to migration. The current projects under the migration program are Building regional and national capacity for improved migration governance. Strengthening the drought resilience migration nexus in the EGAD region. Development response to displacement impact project towards free movement of persons and transhumans in the EGAD region. Building regional and national capacity for improved migration governance. The project's objective is to build regional and national capacity for the implementation of the regional migration policy framework to enhance migration governance and the protection of migrants, thus supporting regional integration and development. Migration interventions cannot exist by themselves. So even though we have a migration policy framework, that also is very much linked to uh, other strategic um, frameworks or other strategies that exist at IGAD. Because you cannot talk about addressing mobility of people and not talk about why is it that people are moving. And one of the reasons that makes people move is vulnerability, uh, you know, in decreased resilience. So we ensure that the, the migration interventions speak to other uh, regional strategies as well. There has been uh, conflicts uh, for so many years. Uh, that's what IGAD Peace and Security Division with the Humanitarian Affairs try to address this in conflict prevention, conflict uh, uh, management and conflict resolution issues in, in, in our region. However, the migration aspect is not limited to, to the region. Many of our youths from Africa, whether it's West Africa or East, are dying on the sands, in deserts of Africa, and also on the Mediterranean Sea. This tragedy could be solved by collective effort of the IGAD leaders and the international community to try to minimize the, 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 the effect of uh, uh, man-made crisis that is leading to having a lot of IDPs within the conflict areas, a lot of refugees in member and neighboring states, and that again is pushing it outside of the continent to uh, Europe and other parts of the, of the, of the uh, continent. Strengthening the drought resilience migration nexus in the IGAD region. Within its larger support to IGAD Drought Disaster Resilience and Sustainability Initiative, GI supports a project component on migration. Its objective is to mainstream migration into the resilience agenda. I believe uh, our ecological circumstances are the greatest cause of displacement in our region. Uh, the droughts have been getting more severe and more frequent and uh, the productivity of our lands have, has been uh, deteriorating all the time. And people have been trying to move from uh, rural areas to, to towns, really basically to look for where, what to do because the lands are no longer productive under those circumstances. Our agriculture is still 99% dependent on rainfall and rainfall these days just doesn't happen. Development Response to Displaced Impacts Project, DRDIP. The World Bank is supporting IGA towards the establishment 
of a regional secretariat on forced displacement and mixed migration within the context of the development response to displace impact project in the Horn of Africa. This project contributes to the improvement of economic opportunities, environmental management, and access to social services in refugee hosting areas of project countries. The DRDIP Regional Secretariat objective is to advance the development approach to displacement through advocacy, research and knowledge generation, working with think tanks and universities in the IGAD region. Towards free movement of persons and transhumans in the IGAD region. This project is funded under the EU Emergency Trust Fund for the stability addressing the root causes of irregular migration and displaced persons in Africa. The specific objectives of the project are to support the process of adoption of the IGAD protocols on free movement of persons and on transhumans, along with complementary measures to implement them and to improve opportunities for regulated labor mobility. This activity will in turn strengthen governance and the protection of migrant workers. The free movement regime is seen as beneficial in terms of trade. It is seen as largely beneficial in terms of access to basic services of education, of health, and more so the countries really recognize that a free movement regime would give them chances for greater labor mobility. Some countries would require expertise and additional skills would be able to gain from their member states. And other countries who have excess labor would be able to export to the benefit of the experts and also to the benefit of their countries. Whether we are talking about people moving across borders for trade, um, for, for schooling, we have um, students who go to Uganda from Kenya, for instance, and vice versa. We have a huge population of people who work in South Sudan, although a country in conflict. But uh, you will find that uh, they are Kenyans, they are, uh, they are Ugandans, they are Ethiopians, Eritreans, etc., who work in that country. The same thing in Sudan, we have over a million migrants from the Horn that work there. And that definitely means that we need to talk about mobility, but also displacement. But also we are also one of the first REC who has also established what we call the Regional Consultative Process on Migration. This is what we call an RCP, and this is actually a platform of regional dialogue where member states are coming together to discuss the issue of migration, but also related issue to migrations. The IGAD Regional Consultative Process, RCP, in order to establish a follow-up mechanism as well as ensure regular reporting on the implementation on the Regional Migration Policy Framework, IGAD, with support from International Organization on Migration, IOM, established the Regional Consultative Process, RCP, on migration in 2008. The IGAD Regional Consultative Process is an informal non-binding mechanism with overall objective of facilitating dialogue and regional cooperation in migration management by creating a platform through which information is exchanged, best practices shared, and solutions to common challenges are pursued. The regional consultative process brings together IGAD member states, relevant transit and destination countries beyond the IGAD region, international organization and other stakeholders to exchange information on migration issues of common interests. The process also acts as a platform of the Regional Migration Policy Framework recommendations. The Regional Migration Coordination Committee, RMCC. As a follow-up to one of the recommendations made at the IGAD RCP meeting in October 2010, Heads of immigration from IGAD member states met in Nairobi in March 2011 and adopted the terms of reference of the Regional Migration Coordination Committee, RMCC, thereby establishing a regional body tasked, among other things, to be a forum for the exchange of information and decision-making on migration-related issues in the IGAD region. We have also what we call the Regional Migration Coordination Committee. This is a committee which is comprised of the ministers particular of migration but also the ministry of labors and this actually committee 
is a committee who are coming together every six months to go through our regional migration policy framework and its action plan and also discuss how best this policy and program could be implemented. Uh, in line with this, we have also established in each member state uh, a national coordination migration that also is bringing member states together where all migration departments and related migration but could discuss also the issue of migration. Uh, meanwhile also uh, recently we have also launched in uh, 2000, uh, 2016 in uh, Entebbe uh, the Committee of Ministers on Migration. The IGAD Ministerial Committee on Migration IGAD convened its first ministerial meeting on migration in November 2016 and established the IGAD Ministerial Committee on Migration to complement the functions of the two technical platforms. The aim of the Ministerial Committee on Migration is to guide the migration policies and enhance the harmonization of various efforts and initiatives related to migration in the IGAD region and streamline these efforts for the benefits of the region. IGAD member states have different government institutions that are responsible for diverse forms of migration management. In the absence of coordination, each ministry pursues its own policy, which may bring about inconsistent laws and regulations resulting in policy incoherence. This hence implies a lack of a common IGAD migration policy and harmonized migration management tools. On the 7th of March 2017, IGAD launched a two-day technical experts meeting in Entebbe, Uganda to discuss durable solutions for Somali refugees in preparation of the special summit of IGAD heads of state which was held in Nairobi on March 25, 2017. The Heads of State Summit brought together member states of IGAD, the international community and other stakeholders to marshal a comprehensive regional approach to deliver durable solutions for Somali refugees whilst promoting sustainable reintegration of returnees in Somalia. The will of the region therefore requires partnership and renewed engagements to deliver the ambitious action plan to be endorsed by this uh, summit. The IGAD Secretariat will continue to play its lead role in coordinating these efforts and through the various existing regional mechanisms. For the first time, IGAD has convened a special summit to deliberate on and to deliver durable solutions for Somali refugees. We believe that our gathering signals a joint commitment to the search for viable solutions to the undesirable and protracted refugee crisis. For more than 25 years, IGAD countries have generously and openly received refugees and those fleeing natural disasters like famine from the region. <clears throat> is that the time for lasting solutions is now. The federal government of Somalia has made durable solution for refugees and IDPs a centerpiece of its resili resilience strategy. We believe that migration is also directly linked to the displacement, and that's why my government will continue to work done under EGAD's dialogue on migration as well as the Khartoum process. Our National Development Plan has a full chapter on migration. There is ample evidence, Your Excellencies, much of it generated within this sub-region, that given the opportunity through access to markets, freedom of movement, and the removal of other barriers, refugees have the potential to make significant contributions to the societies and economies of the communities hosting them. I very much commend the groundbreaking models now being applied in a number of IGAD member states aimed at increasing self-reliance, inclusion, and social cohesion, and ensuring meaningful access to rights and livelihood opportunities. We must continue to provide emergency life-saving assistance to all refugees, irrespective of their country of origin. 
This requires countries to continue opening up their borders to persons fleeing for protection and seeking humanitarian assistance. Certainly, Ethiopia remains committed to keeping its door open to all seeking international protection. Over the years, the IGET migration program has seen various successes across its various projects. We are happy that the region is continually engaged in discussions around migration. Uh, within a very short time, the, the program has, has grown to really a significant program that also supports other ongoing programs at IGAD. But we should not forget that migration has a lot of benefits. We are all migrants. Council of Ministers has actually approved in 2011 the construction of an IGAD Center of Excellence for Cancer. And this has been an initial initiative from the diaspora. I think we should actually more focus on the benefits of migration than the bad aspect of migration. This is a region that is blessed with seamless relationship of people. Everybody in this region looks like the other. Every clan or tribe in this region exists in a common border across the, across another border. So this region really should be exemplary globally. Uh, for handling the issues of refugees. The IGAD migration program continues to live up to its vision, a vision where the people of the region develop a regional identity, live in peace and enjoy an environment alleviating poverty through appropriate and effective sustainable development programs. <laughs>